वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री ऑनलाइन डॉट गुरु टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लॉ और पार्टीशन लॉ दिस लॉ वॉज गिवन बाई नास्ट दिस लॉ गिवस द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ अ गिवन सब्सटेंस इन टू डिफरेंट फेजेज इन इक्वलिब्रियम विद ईच अदर सपोज इफ अ स्मॉल क्वांटिटी ऑफ सॉल्यूट सॉल्यूबल इन both the liquids or solvent is added then solute distributes itself in two liquids and equilibrium is set up both the liquid must be immiscible with each other if the concentration of solute in two liquids r c1 and c2 then according to distribution law the ratio of concentration of solute in two solvent is a constant that is k k is known as distribution coefficient or partition coefficient constant or partition coefficient constant or coefficient next is factors affecting distribution coefficient one important thing is value of k k is distribution constant its value depends upon temperature nature of solute and nature of two solvents second important thing is it doesn't depend upon amount of solute or solvent taken next thing is if the solubilities of given solute in the two solvents at the given temperature are s1 and s2 solubilities of two solvents at given temperature is s1 and s2 then k is also equal to c1 upon c2 or s1 upon s2 s1 is the solubility of solute in first solvent and s2 is the solubility of solute in second solvent example water and ether are immiscible with each other 
these are two solvents immiscible with each other or immiscible solvents solute succinic acid it is soluble in both the solvents if a small amount of succinic acid is added in these two solvents these are solvent suppose this is water layer this is ether layer and succinic acid is added a solvent then concentration of succinic acid in water is sea water concentration of succinic acid in ether is c ether then k equal to c water upon c ether concentration of succinic acid in water is more than ether so sea water is taken in the numerator and sea ether in the denominator now experimental verification for experimental verification of distribution law different quantity of the solute is added in different quantities of the two solvent in many experiments if value of k that is distribution constant if the value of distribution constant for each experiment remains the same for each experiment value of k is the same then this shows that the data follows the distribution law next thing is conditions for distribution law one important condition is both the solvents must be immiscible solvents must be immiscible with each other second important thing is this law is applicable only for dilute solutions next temperature remains constant throughout the experiment next important thing is the molecular state of solute in the two solvent should be same it means there is 
is no dissociation or association next important point next important heading is applications of distribution law number 1 important application is determination of solubility we know the formula k equal to c1 upon c2 or equal to s1 upon s2 if the value of k and solubility of one solvent is given then we can calculate the solubility of solute in other solvent second application is solvent extraction extraction of one substance from a solution containing various substances by using a suitable solvent is known as solvent extraction extraction of one substance from a solution containing various substances by using a suitable solvent is known as solvent extraction the amount of extracted substance is more if smaller amount of solvent are used many times then using larger amount of solvent in fewer times it means more is the number of extractions greater is the amount extracted if you want a video tutorial on any specific topic of chemistry please comment below if you like this video then like share and comment this video For more articles on chemistry please visit our site chemistryonline.guru thank you